Hi! Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day or night wherever you are. It's like midnight right now when I'm filming this video. <laughs> so today, tonight, I was just feeling kind of down, kind of lonely. My man's still at work so I'm like, mm, I don't know what to do. And I've listened to every podcast I can think of so I was like, you know what? I haven't done like a fall makeup tutorial yet so today I just want to get kind of cutesy and you know, look good when he comes back to me so that's what we're gonna do hopefully it's gonna be a cute fall look and I have a bunch of things I got today that I want to try so that's what we're gonna do too we're gonna test out a whole bunch of new products including the max of the makeup sweater weather palette which yeah my tongue almost tied I have some Charlotte Turbert some Charlotte Tilbury I can't talk today products I have the new Carity lashes to try out as well as the new Mercier Laura Mercier primer and stuff. So today I figured we can try some new things, get ready together, do a cute little fall look. And now let's go ahead and go from this to this. Alright guys, so I started out with eyebrows on because, you know, I do my eyebrows with eyeshadow these days and it's not fun to film that. So the first thing we're going to try out is the new, well I don't know if this is new, but it's new to me. It's the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. I know I've seen the regular one a lot. But this is the hydrating one. Also something that kind of concerns me just a baby a bit, but I guess not really because there's like a little nub in here. There's like a little, a stubby nubby in there. It's not sealed, but I guess the nubby stabs it. What am I even saying right now? So I'm going to try this one out. It said it's a water-based one on the back, so I was like, ooh, hydration. And I'm not going to be wearing this makeup, but for probably like two hours. So I could just give my skin like a little bit of hydration while I do this instead of putting something really, really, really matte on my skin. And then just wiping it off, which doesn't sound like a good time. So... Roll this in. It doesn't really have much of a fragrance at all. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm nice and pink. Also, like, my under nose area is so broken out. I'm sorry. It's the medication I'm taking. It makes me break out really bad underneath my nose. It used to be, like, hormonal acne would be around my chin area, but now, with this new medication, I break out underneath my nose. And it's not even, like, pimples. It's just redness. It's really irritating. But when I stop taking it, it goes back to normal. So, sorry about that. There's nothing wrong with me. Um... Let's move on to foundation now. I don't have a new foundation to try, but I'm just going to use the foundation stick in F1 from Makeup Revolution because I haven't used it in a long time. And it does have good coverage without being super matte. And again, since I'm not wearing this for very long, I'm going to keep my skin kind of hydrated. I do like that the primer didn't have too much of a scent because a lot of people are really sensitive to added fragrances. And if you don't have to add one to something simple like that, I think it's a good option to not have a scent in it, and it went on very smoothly. It's not super, super sticky in texture, like it's going to be really tacky primer. Um, but it did feel very, like, it felt like a really light moisturizer. It wasn't very heavy on the skin at all when I first put it up there. We'll see how it looks with the foundation on top, though. Also, I'm fully aware that my face and neck are different colors than my hands and body. My hands and arms and stuff, you know, when you're driving around town, they get sun. And you know, my face and neck don't. And maybe I should match my face and neck to everything else, but your girl can't, afail, can't afford new foundations all the time. Especially when it's coming to winter soon and my skin's going to fade back to this anyways. So next up is concealer. I'm going to go ahead and conceal and set my face. Just fast forward this part really quick. Using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige as well as the Vanilla Anastasia Setting Powder. Okay, so my face is set and I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Bronzer in Soleil One. Eh, you can see my stuff's. I'm just going to dust it over. I just got to in here and dust it all over my face except for my under eye area. I don't really know if it's like the best, best bronzer in the world. But like, makes my forehead look more even I think. I feel like that's just the only thing I noticed. Like it does bronze a little bit. But it's not like the prettiest, prettiest finish in the world. But can you even tell a difference? I can see it in person but on camera I still look hella pale. But whatever. So next up, let's do like my contour and stuff so I don't look so flat. Flat. Back. So I have this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I opened the little box and it was like the secret of like old Hollywood peoples. And I was like, ooh. Ooh. That's all you had to say. So this packaging is like very vintage-y looking to me and it's really pretty. And I've never really tried Charlotte Tilbury. So today we're trying two of their products. I really want to try them out because I found out they're cruelty free recently. That's awesome. So I'm going to try this Sculpt shade. I swatched it on my finger. It looks like it has a little bit of glow to it, but I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to take it on my Sigma F83 Karkabuki brush, which is my favorite brush. I don't like face brushes 
eye brushes is my favorite brush of all time and I'm just gonna take it I don't know how like light I need to go with this Ooh, it's a little warm honestly it doesn't it looks pretty cool in here but looks a little warm but I think it's wearable actually hmm yeah I mean it's a little weird colored on me but I don't hate it so maybe if I just do lighter presses in there Mm, that needs to be blended out, but you guys get the idea. It's not a terrible color. I actually kind of like the color. I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of this if the highlighter is good because I can't actually wear this, especially because my contour never looks great until I add blush and highlight that it all kind of mushes together in the area to make a beautiful whatever. My skin looks good sometimes and I'm like, mm, I wish it was real. <laughs> so I kind of went in too far with the contour on this side, too close to my mouth. This side looks okay. That looks a lot better actually. This is a pretty good color for me. So let's try the highlighter in here too. But let's do the blush first because I'm going to try the highlighter. But for blush, I have this. It is a swish and pop blusher. Um, cheek to cheek from Charlotte Tilbury. Because it looks really cute. And I've been on the hunt. Like avidly on the hunt for like a good glowy blush. I noticed I have so many blushes in my collection. Some I have like a little tiny bit of something and something there. But they're more satiny. I don't have like a glowy blush. And that's really what I've been craving lately. So this one... It kind of looks like a highlighter, and then it was like, it says blusher. And I was like, this isn't too light, it's like not too, too pinky, so I'm not sure if it's going to really show up. But I'm just going to swirl the pink and the, uh, the creamy color together. Just do that, and um, just try this out. Because I want something like a really glowy blush. And we're going to go heavy on the blush, because I want this to be really cute, cutesy, cutesy look, and not just a regular day look. Um, and this does show up pinker than I was thinking, this creamy color pick up more. But it actually is a really pretty pinky blush. So this color is absolutely beautiful. Heavy on the blush today. And I'm actually going to add blush to the end of my nose too. I want this to be a very cutesy look. And I feel like that's something cutesy people on Instagram do. Is it? I feel like it is. I've done one of these looks with blush on the end of my nose before. And it was like, <laughs> is what I want to do all the time. Like I got a cold. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like in like a Disney movie when someone has a cold and their like nose is all red. That's what I feel like with blush on into my nose. But we're doing it anyways because some people think it's cute and I'm hoping to look cute. And I might add circle lenses. I don't, I don't know what kind of mood I'm in right now, you guys. I'm sorry. Now that we have really heavy blush and it looks like a cold. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and move on to highlight now because I want to try out that Halara. So I'm going to take the FO3 brush from Sigma. And I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow thing again. We're going to try the highlighter in here. This is brand new, right? But what is this? Sorry, my nails aren't done. But what is this black stuff right here? What is that? Looks like grime or rust, but this thing's brand new. So, I don't know what that's about. But let's try this highlighter. I don't know why, maybe with Charlotte Tilbury, I'm thinking like Tilbury, Tilbury. I was thinking like natural, but it's actually a really pretty glow. Maybe they're like more into it than I thought they were. Because the packaging looks super cool and like vintagey and pretty. And then the cool tone contour color was nice and this highlighter actually kind of pops. So maybe they're more into it, into it than I thought. And I'm also going to add a lot of highlighter on my nose. Because people think that's cute. I'm trying to be cute, you know? Like a cute little fall moment. I was going to add Pillow Talk on top of this highlighter. But I actually just kind of like it how it is. My skin looks super glowy and blushy. It's kind of cute. So let's move on to eyes now. The fun stuff. So I have the brand new Sweater Weather Palette by Max with Makeup. Oh my god. If you guys like it after watching today's video. If it's good, I don't know. Like if it's bad, I'll let you know. But I am an affiliate with them. So if you want to use my link and buy it, that'd be awesome. Or use my code with them. That'd be awesome. Um, but I don't know if it's good yet, so I'll let you know. But I'm always going to be honest with you. So this is the palette. It's so pretty. You know what it is? It's a really pretty fall uh, fall palette. But then there's like this bright pop of lime colors in here. And there's also really this like beautiful greeny. So I think I just want to do something really simple. Because I'm going to do like fun eyeliner stamps and stuff. So for I. I have eyelid primer on already. It's just the concealer. I'm going to take the shade Cream, which is this shade, and I'm going to buff that underneath my brow bone with an E40 brush, which is like a really big blending brush from Sigma. I'm going to... 
I always find if I put like a cream matte down underneath my brow, it's easier to blend up with the other colors later. Like the lid area and the most of the crease isn't set yet by me doing this, so they can still get the full impact of the color. But underneath my brow, if I set it with a matte, I can blend easier. So, ooh, I don't know what I want to do. This, this color scheme is so pretty because a lot of these browns in here, I'm like, ooh. Then I'm like, a warm moment. I haven't done too many warm eyeshadow moments in a while. Then they got like this syrupy green shade in here with the greens. I'm like, mmm, mmm, I don't know. Okay, they really killed this color scheme. I'm going to take the color cinnamon, which is this little beautiful matte shade right here, which is kind of a darker taupe. It really coated the brush. And I'm just going to pack this over my crease. It's looking really nice so far. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out everywhere. Because I don't want this to be a super precise look. I just want it glowy and cutesy and fall. There is a bunch of kickback in the pan with this shade. But when I go back into it, I'm just picking it back up the second time. Alright, so the next color I want to dip into is Cozy. Which is a kind of maroon. But I'm going to go very lightly in here. And just add this to the crease. I'm just like sampling this palette. If you guys want a full, full review, of course, you know I'll do it. I might end up doing one anyways because I really like the color scheme of here and I want to test everything in here. But for now, I just wanted to like play with this. So this is kind of like a first impressions. And I'm just adding this right underneath of that first color cinnamon we put down. Just to make it a little warmer, but I don't want this super crazy bold or anything. So I'm going very lightly and starting to build up slowly rather than like packing it on and blending it out. I do have one critique of this color scheme. There's no orange in here. Like the bright reds in here, like true reds are really hard to get. Like that's amazing that I put them in here and I love the greens and I love all the browns. I love everything about the palette. It's just, there's so much orange and this is such a, it needs one orange shade I feel like. Maybe take fleece out, even though I like that kind of taupey color, and put in an orange. I think that would have been like the perfect color scheme for this one. But I really like light <laughs> matte shades. so. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being picky, but I feel like the fall palette needs an orange. Alright, next up I'm going to take Frosty, which is this really light shimmer shade. It's like a silvery shimmer, and I'm going to pack it on my finger on the lid. I love an icy or like cream colored shimmer for the lid, because it always makes your lid look more awake and open. Like, this eye looks more awake than this one, just because of that pop of a bright color on the lid. When your lid doesn't have something bright on it, it's not going to be as, like, awake looking. Even if you put a blue on the lid, it's going to look more, like, stark and less, like, mmm. Makes your eyes look bigger, and I, I love that about it. So I, I love, even if I put, like, a fun color on the outer corner of my lid and the inner corner, usually I put down, like, a light shimmery shade. And not for every look, of course, but, like, on the daily, you, put, you see me putting a white or a cream colored Thing on the lid all the time. It's just my favorite thing. I don't know. Cause look how much, look how more awake I look. <laughs> What's that face? So next up, I just want to play with more colors in here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. All right. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this really, really big, fat, really thick shader brush from Sigma. It is the F. It is the E59, and I'm gonna take the shade. I'm going to take the shade Cinnamon again. I know we're not trying too many shades in this palette right now. Actually, let's take Fleece. Let's take Fleece because Cinnamon's a little darker and I want this really light. So I'm just going to buff this color all under the lower lash line just to give a little something something and not look super bare. But I also want to keep my lower lash line to look really big. So I don't want to close it in with a darker shadow. So I'm going to put this down here and I might add a little bit of something if it doesn't show up. This big, big fluffy brush for shading is going to be the most diffused look. Um, and since I can't really see that, I'm going to add a little bit of Harvest, which is this shade. It's more of a yellowy kind of color. I'm just adding a little bit of depth underneath the lower lash line with this big shader brush. Keeping my eyes awake and big looking by not adding a dark color. And if you add a little bit of shading right underneath where your puffiness is, you put, add it right here. And don't put it farther down than like this little, you know, the little indention there. It brings your eyes forward. So I really like that as well, which I'm pretty sure I've said in past videos. But like, that's why I don't smoke my eyeshadow out too much usually. I keep it within that divot of your eyeball socket. 
because all my eyes forward and bigger. I tried the best. I try the most to make my eyes look bigger a lot of the time. All right, now moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to take the Hank and Henry Slick With It Blickety Black that we got in our BoxyCharm, I believe. And I'm going to do eyeliner. And I'm not good at winged eyeliner, but I've been doing it lately just to make my eyes look wider. I think it's a very fall thing to do. So I'm going to add like a small, thin wing. I'm not going to do anything like super thick because I do have a hooded lid, so it's going to like fold on itself here. So I'll do a very thin one. It's not the best wing in the world, but I add like flary lashes and eyeliner stamps and it's gonna be fun so that's what i'm gonna do i'm actually a lot better at winged eyeliner at my normal desk i don't usually film i don't usually do my makeup in the filming room unless i'm reviewing something i always feel weird when i say filming room because it makes me feel like a fancy youtuber but realistically i have a one bedroom apartment and instead of having a bedroom <laughs> or a living room i decided to take the bedroom which is like a half room, really, and made into a filming room. And I don't have a living room couch or anything. I just have my bed in that room, <laughs> which is when you first open the door. Like, <laughs> I really committed to this YouTube thing, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so this is my little wingities, wingity wingities. Um, it's basically a lion. And now I'm going to use my eyeliner stamp. So I have the Ciate London Starstruck stamp with just little stars on it and a regular eyeliner on one side. And I also got these new Lottie London stamp liners. This one has moons on it. I used the heart one the other day for like my Disney masquerade video. So I'm going to open this one up where you use the stars. I mean the moons because we have the stars already. So with the Ciate London Starstruck stamp. Uh, am I going to do this first? Alright, so I'm going to add my normal star, which I have a little tiny mole right here, so I usually just add this stamp on top of that. Bink! That's usually my placement for that, so I'm going to do it on the same side as well. Other side. Same side, other side. Bink! I'm really into eyeliner stamps lately. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's very fall to have a something stamped on your face. <laughs> is that a thing? So now for the little moonies. i got to make sure these are correct, so... Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. No one's gonna see it. It's fine. No one's gonna see it. Except for the video I'm filming. Now I don't know if I should make them facing the same way or like one facing inwards. I'll make them facing the same way, I think. Oh, one's definitely pointed more upwards than the other one. Okay, let's add another star because I feel like I like the stamp version on the Ciate London one better because a lot of London gave me just a little bit of nth and the other day when I used the heart it did that as well. So, star, star, the stars are always perfect. Oh, cute, oh. Yeah, sure, that's, that's cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Let's add one above the, I did this today, it was earlier today. I added one above my little wing and it was really cute. I think I'm adding it again. No, I'm gonna leave it how it is. Three, three, blushy on the nose, weird looking. Um, yeah, I do like this. I do like how black the moon is. It's very precise, but I did get a little bit of like nubby beside it that I don't particularly care for. Next up for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna be safe and use my Jeffree Star Ice Cold and put it on my pinky as per usual. I could take concealer and fix this little blemish on this. <sighs> I, just, I think it'll look weird. The other day when I tried to fix it, it just looked too stark compared to the rest of the face. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. Oh well. So for next thingy thingy, I'm going to take the Stila Perlina, which is a glitter and glow. I'm taking out a little flat brush. I'm going to coat both sides of this little flat brush here. And I'm going to tuck it right underneath of my lower lashes from the tear duct. I'm gonna go about halfway. You gotta work with this fast though because once you start using it you apply it really quickly because underneath here where you have tons of concealer if you let it dry down you try to add more it'll start to mess with your concealer. So the second I put it down I blend it out and move on. There. It just adds like some little sparkly brightness under there. I think it's really cute and I never do it all the way just feel like I wanted to open up my eyes in the inner corner more. So I'm wondering if I need circle lenses with this to make it super cutesy or not. No, I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to do normal eyes, I think. Just because I don't want my eyes to water and ruin all this. So I'm going to do for eyeliner. 
No, I didn't bring a white eyeliner in here. All I have is this one. So I'm going to take the Fake Awake by Tarte in my waterline. thought I brought a white one in here, but I guess I didn't. I'm always that person who's screaming, I don't want to be cutesy all the time. And then deliberately does a look to look cutesy or does like something super fun and cute anyways. And I'm always like, don't think of me as cute all the time. And then I do stuff like this where I'm like, <laughs> so next up I need some lip balm. <laughs> and now for mascara, I'm going to take the Essence Lash Princess. And for lashes off camera, I'm going to apply the Carity Quinn lashes. These are their new lashes. They're faux mink. Um, they're 3D faux mink lashes. I don't know what they're made out of. They're synthetic fibers, okay? So, these are the style I chose. This is the first pair I'm trying of theirs, um, because they just came out with these, and I'm super excited to see how I like them. These had, like, cute little flares on them, so I'm gonna try this style, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the lashes on. These are the lashes. The style is really, really pretty. I like how they flare out. They are very, very light towards the end. Personally, I like something a little... Um, bigger and bolder. But these do look really pretty. I think we get a lot of use out of them. I just don't like the band on them. The band on them for me is not it. But they're definitely wearable. They kind of remind me of the Kiss Lashes like band on them. But they're both affordable lash brands so I understand. Um, I just like a little bit more of a structured band. This one's very loosey-goosey. But then there's some that are too stiff. So like it's a you know it's a personal preference. But the style themselves are really pretty. And they're only $8 so like this style is really cute. I don't know why I like this eye better than this eye. Maybe it was just the placement of it. But yeah, let's move on now. So next, I think we're just doing lips and we're done. Mm, which is good because it's almost 1 a.m. And I think he's going to be home at that time. So this is the Milf Myth Cosmetics Geode Liquid Lipstick in the shade Game of Thorns. Kitty Cat Noises. Game of Thorns. I wore this in a picture on Instagram last week and I really like it. But it, the only thing is like one of these teardrop applicators. And sometimes it picks up too much product, so I did bring a disposable wand in here in case I need to like get into the Cupid's bow and get it really precise. But for now, I'm just going to use this applicator. I've been wearing a lot of brown lips. I've been like, orange hair, brown lips goes perfectly together. Alright, so I really like this liquid lipstick formula. It's not the most matte in the world, but it's very smooth. It doesn't draw out your lips, and it's comfortable. And the color is cute. So... Um, this is the only one from the collection that is like super like a color I'd wear all the time. A lot of them are really, really intense. And I like to keep the intense stuff for my eyes usually. And I thought this look would come out so much cuter than it did. I ended up just using my regular look just with some blush on my nose and some extra stamps than usual. This is just my normal look. Mm. Alright, so, oh, let me try a setting spray. Since... Cutesy glitter is cute. I'm gonna use the iconic London prep set and glow that we got in our boxy charm. Smells good. Kind of glittery though. Oh no, my eyes are red. Have I been sitting in front of the camera for that long that my eyes are like, help? Oh well. So this <laughs> is my normal look basically. Nothing about this is extra cute except I put blush on my nose. So this is the finished look. Well, do you know that type at the beginning talking about how cute this look is going to be? I should have added circle lenses and it would have been way cuter, but you know, whatever. So this is the finished look. I think it's pretty cute. Let's go over all the new stuff that we tried in today's video. We're going to skip past the things that we tried on camera before, but let's talk about the new stuff I tried. So the Myth Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. Super comfortable. It dries down matte. It's not 100% transfer proof. It will get on a straw if you drink with it. But it's a really pretty color, and this is Game of Thorns, which is, like, my favorite out of the collection of their lipsticks. We also have the Suave Wava palette from Max the Makeup. I thought it was really nice. I do need to test out, like, the greens and some of the other colors more. But, like, the color scheme in here is so cute. I do wish there was an orange, but it is really, really cute. And I love the pops of bright, bright green instead of just, like, an olive. I think it's really unique, and I like the packaging, too, and the name. It's really cute. And it matches me. Aww. How cute! Um, the lashes, the Carity lashes, they are very pretty. Not my favorite lash, br like, band in the world. But I do like the style. Like, I love a good flary lash. I hate the ones that are, like, super symmetrical all the way around. They're like... These are, like, flary, flary, flary. That's what I like. I think it's a really pretty style. I actually think I'm gonna wear these a bunch. And they have other styles, too, that I'm, like, dying to wear. Because they have other ones that are, like, spikier. 
but these are really pretty. And this is the style Quinn. We also tried out this primer from Laura Mercier. I did find it really easy to go on. There wasn't too much of a fragrance. It felt pretty hydrating, like a very light moisturizer. It didn't feel like it was clogging my pores. And my skin feels pretty prepped. And I think it did a good job. It's not like revolutionary primer I'd say but first impressions of it I'm liking it and it felt really nice and cool on the skin the Lottie London stamps I thought it was nice it's very black I did have a little bit of an issue with a little bit of on this one but it's a very black and very nice it's not bleeding stamp so I do like that as well um the Charlotte Tilbury chic to chic cheek to chic oh it's a oh it's a Fred Astaire and Georgia Rogers reference oh. um this blushy thing I thought it was nice. It's kind of a glowy blush. It's really pretty. It's not super, super glow, super, super glowy. It does look pretty natural. And for this color, I was expecting it to be less pink, but it is very pink. And I thought it was really cute as well. It performed nicely. We also tried the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I really like this one. I like the contour color. I thought it was very subtle, very nice. And then the highlighter actually was really pretty as well. Like the highlighter is really good, especially for being like not like I'd ever hear about their highlighters so and the packaging oh my god the packaging is so cute and I usually don't like reflective packaging so those are the new things we tried in today's video yeah I was looking around for like do, is that all we tried so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it this is the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section down below this is I thought it was being super cute seeing like out there this is something I'd honestly wear to the grocery store like I wear it's like star stamps and stuff to like the post office sometimes because you know whatever <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you're having an awesome day give me a thumbs up if you're having an okay day give me a thumbs up if you're having a bad day you deserve a nap girl <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video bye